Bhagavad Gita, text 4.26 Others offer the senses, such as the sense of hearing, into the fire of the controlled mind, while others offer sounds and the other sense objects themselves into the fire of the senses. In this verse, Krishna first describes lifelong syllabus, and then those involved in household life, who more readily interact with sense objects. The lifelong celibates renounce ordinary action and engage in hearing continuously about the Absolute. In this way, they sacrifice their senses, activities, into the sacrificial fire of the controlled mind. The householder engages his senses in ordinary actions such that they become an offering unto the Absolute. In this way, the objects of his senses are sacrificed into the figurative fire of controlled senses.